Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ethan, this is Cabra, and welcome to the penultimate episode of the series where I teach you how to build Discord.pybot for your server. Um, in this episode we'll be tackling how to set an activity for your bot and also how to announce, how to get your bot to automatically announce changes. So what we're going to do is just kill that rapple for a second. Uh, we are going to, it'll be, yeah. Uh, so uh, we're going to start off with activities. Um, because I I did, didn't actually plan to do this, so I'm kind of going a little freeform with this. Um, but it should be fine. I've got um, a little uh, template code from another bot up here, so it should be okay. We'll see. Um, so what we're going to do here, we're going to create a a, uh, a cycling activity. So I'm actually going to create two functions here. Um, oh, are we? Is there a point? Yeah, I think there is. Um, so we're just going to send the activity in, and then we're also going to do uh, choose. Oops, next activity, and then that doesn't need to have anything on it. I don't think. We need to go up here. We need to import something else into the. Uh, I think we need to. Well, from random, we also need to import choice as well as random range. We need to be able to choose from a list, or in this case, a dictionary. Uh, we go down here. We'll, we'll do the set activity thing first. So um, it's going to take an activity, uh, but we're going to pass it in just as a sentence, essentially. Um, so we do want to split that up a little bit. So we'll have the activity kind and the activity name. It is called the activity type, but type is a keyword, and I'd rather not use it. Um, so we'll just have our activity dot split, and then we'll. Uh, this will, if you're not understanding what I'm doing here, this will make more sense once I build the other function too. Um, so I have kinds and then playing. We do actually need to import something else. I do apologize. Uh, so we need to. I need to work out what to actually import. Discord import utils client, and then we need activity and then activity type because. Super Discord activities are not intuitive in the API at all, they are a nightmare. Um, so we'll just assign playing to activity type dot playing because we need these stupid objects apparently. Watching um, activity type dot watching and then listening to specifically in kebab case just so it's easier. Listening. Oh, it's just listening. Okay. And we'll do await me dot change presence. There we go. Uh, set the activity equal to an activity object that we're creating just now with the name of name and the type of kinds. Um, so that is how we set the activity. How we choose the activity is we just literally create a um, uh, like a, a dictionary here. Actually, no, we could just create an array. We don't know, or a list. Sorry, um, we don't even need that due to the way it works. So, if an, like we could do, say for example, like playing uh, with the API, for example. Um, or watching Cabra's videos, uh, for example, or even watching Superboo's videos. If you want to see me play games, go there, but don't. This isn't a play. It's 100% not a plug for my other channel. Don't... It's fine. Um, <laughs> you don't have to go with it, it's okay. <laughs> um, we'll just leave it as three for now. You can add as many as you want. <clears throat> Actually, we'll add a listen to as well. So, listening to, God, I don't know, um, the screams of the eternal. There we go. Um, <laughs> so, what we can do here, <laughs> such a random thing, is oh, this needs to be and this needs to be a synchronous function. So, we need to do async, um, and this also needs to be an asynchronous function because it's cool. Because it's calling an asynchronous function. Do not hit insert in Sublime. It goes wrong. Um, so what you could do here is await set 
activity and then choice so uh, this will just choose something in an array and then possible activities so it will just choose one of them completely at random to send up to the activity and then it will set that activity we also need to do a little thing here uh, schedules at job uh, so be choose next activity uh, and then cron trigger and then we'll set like second equal to zero and thirty if you try and do it too quickly the uh, discord just won't be able to keep up uh, but 30 seconds should be for it should be enough to at least let me show you that it's changing at the very least um, so if we load that up Uh, I don't. It's you know. It's not going to set one at the start. It will set one in a bit. Uh, you can get it to set it at the start. There we go. Um, uh, you can get it to set it at the start just using the same function. But uh, I can't be honest with that. See, it's playing with the API right now. Uh, yeah, playing a game with the API. And then if we wait a little bit, we will get it to change. Also, why the hell does everyone want my damn attention when I'm on D and D? Like seriously, look at this shit. I mean, I literally never have that many on reds normally. Um, there's a chance it's chosen playing with the API again. <laughs> there's an error. There we go. Watching Carver's videos. Um, so, you, so uh, yeah, you can get it to cycle between as many as you want, really. Well, well you can get it to cycle if you want. This just chooses one completely at random. Uh, but you can set up a little um, little thing to cycle between activities as well. It's not really that useful to do. You might as well just set it randomly. See, that's how you get the bot to do activities. It's a pretty simple little thing, to be honest. Right, okay. Uh, sorry about that cut. I had to... I I thought of something that I really needed to make a note about before I forgot about it, so I, I wrote that down. Um, but now we're going to do what this video was originally going to be, which was um, writing a system for, ch for a change log. So if I just find the thing in here, because it's a different file and template. There we go. Um, so we actually need to go into the database again, unfortunately. Uh, we need to create a brand new table called system, no, it doesn't have to be called system, but there you go, and this is just where, um, <clears throat> okay, that went weird, <laughs> what the hell, value, uh, this is just where you can store kind of system variables almost, uh, that will change, so it's easiest if you just have, have both as text, uh, set the key to the primary key, um, <clears throat> and what this table does is, well, yeah, it's basically just variable assignation or assign. I don't know why I keep calling. It. I don't even know if assignation is a word. I just keep using it. I don't know why. Um, uh, variable assignments. So, well, the one we uh, we're going to put in it's just going to be manual. Is uh, we're going to have one for ver version. It's coming up over there. So we're going to store our version in, and we're not going to have a value for the time being because it, it doesn't matter for now. Um, so essentially, what this means is we're just storing essentially a variable in a database. It's this, it's this table. That's all it really does. Um, <clears throat> we are also going to create a variable in here called version a equals one one point zero point zero. Because it's basically after this, the bot is basically done. Um, and then yeah, putting a change log system last seems like the best thing to do. But if of course if you want to continue developing the bot, then this would be useful. Um, of course, you don't have to do this at all. And then changes uh, everything. It's all done. And then, yeah, you can put your changes in there, and then that will become apparent why very shortly. Um, hang on, I just need to get rid of something in there that I forgot to get rid of before. Uh, so we need to create just a random function down here somewhere. Async def announce changes. Oops. Uh, we could do like an announce. Let's let's do an announce update. Let's make it a bit a bit fancier name. Um, so we can essentially say that if the version is not uh, the database dot field or or not the database or the, 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 not the value in the field um, in the table system where key is version. So at, uh, uh, at the moment this will return none and version is not none, so this will work anyway. So it doesn't matter about it being none. So if if the ver essentially if the version is different, or in other words, if the bot has been updated, 
Um, we can send uh, an announcement to the channel announcements. <laughs> okay then. Oh my god, come on. There we go. Announcements uh, dot send. Uh, and we'll just copy and paste this message in here. Uh, so the message says, uh, I've been updated to version, and then the version in the thing. Uh, and then we'll actually shove some of the things there. And then here are the latest changes inside a code block, and then it will just output all the changes in there. Because um, it's triple quoted, um, all the new line characters are read raw. So all the new line characters will be new line characters. And then if the, if the version has been changed, <laughs> we need to update it in the database so that if we have to um, uh, shut the bot down and restart it for whatever reason um, uh, but we're not updating it say if you uh, if you reboot the computer or your bot has an offline time or something um, <clears throat> then it won't uh, constantly spam announcements in the uh, in the channel and we set up the version and that is done we just need to put that in the on ready let's find it on here as well just so I can work out where I put it uh, so I don't know like above start schedule but below database dot update seems like a good idea um, you can really put it anywhere to be completely honest with you it doesn't matter uh, updates and then that actually needs to be an asynchronous one. Oh no it's an, a, a wait Announce updates. It is an asynchronous function, yeah, because it sends a message, so it's got to be. Yeah. Um, so now, if we do this, hopefully, you want error. And then we don't have a channel called announcements. Uh oh. <laughs> I, I thought I did. Well, we have one now. <laughs> that was a bit of an oversight when I made the. Uh, oh, the functions. I um, made a typo anyway. Um, what have I spelt wrong? Oh, announce update. Ugh. I called it the wrong thing anyway. It was, it was a good error anyway, so I don't feel too bad about that. Um, I could have sworn I made an announcement channel. It's just a complete oversight on my part. But, uh, yep. That's an announcement saying, I've been updated to version 1.0.0. Here are the latest changes. Everything. It's all done. And then, um, if we were to say, shut the bot down. Actually, should we? Uh, let's actually use our sh shutdown function that we built. There we go. Just to make everything a bit better. Um, yeah, for some reason, like so sometimes it doesn't log out. I think it's if you do it too quickly. Um, if we set, say, our version to be, come on, there we go. Our version to be so many lines. Um, yeah, this is why if you want anything much more complex than this, you're going to want to do it in multiple files. But uh, for something like this, like having what is it, like 300 lines or so, 436. Okay, 436. Um, it's not too bad. The original version of a bot called Fuzzy, um, if you go into my friend's server you'll find a bot called Fuzzy. Um, before I uh, modularized all the code, his code was 930 something lines long. Um, I mean, uh, nowadays in total between all the files it's more like two or three thousand. But you know, it's fine. Um, more changes. <laughs> She'll do um, more changes. <laughs> And then it will announce this update as well, saying, "I've been updated to version 1.0.1. Here are the latest changes." You can also like um, mention a role in here or whatever, and then say, "Oh no, the bot crashed. We need to we we need to restart it." You'll see we go in the admin text. I'm online, and it didn't re-announce the version because the version is the same uh, as the one that's been stored. Um, so that brings us to the end of this video as well. That was about 20 minutes. That was actually slightly longer than I thought. Huh, I actually uh, managed to bring the, the video to a decent length. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do that with this one, but there you go. Um, so that brings us to the end of this video. Our bot is now essentially done. It is fit for use in our server. Um, we can now go and we can host it on a VPS, which is what we will be doing next time. Uh, I'll be showing you how to do that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and I, I say VPS, I mean virtual private server, so somewhere we can host it 24-7. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, then uh, say hello down below. Um, if you have any feedback, then do the same, I guess. Or if you have any questions, do the same. Just do anything in the comments at all. I don't mind, so long as it's not hate. Boo. 
Um, constructive criticism is fine. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time where we actually go and host our bot on our virtual private server. But until then.